What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay. Up in this mud, July painting challenge 2013 is over. It is at an end. We are already into August as I am filming this, and I just want to say what a fantastic challenge it has been. I got more done than I ever thought I would. I remember when I set this challenge out to myself, I didn't think there was any way I could get through this whole army of infantry of Astroians and I'm glad I did because I think they're a beautiful looking army. I think they are going to look great on the tabletop and I can't wait to send them off to a good home that will love and take care of them and give me lots of money. So let me show you what I did for my day 31. Base coated and shaded all the gun crew that I needed to and um, if I had to do these heavy bolter guys again I would probably paint them with the arm detached and then glue the arm on because it's hard to get the flesh onto the face over there but that's okay and what else did I do oh yeah I got these bases in the mail they're cheap knockoff bases because like I said I didn't get any 60 millimeter bases in this order but the thing is they were too short they do not fit the games workshop they're not the same height as a regular games workshop base so what I did is I went to my local hobby store and I got some mica flake gel from Mi Mica Mike Gel de Mija Mija Gel from Vallejo. And I spread that on and I think once there is some gray primer on that and I dry brush it up to look like the rest of these guys, add some snow effects, it'll look really good. So the reason they're not done is because they are not dry yet. They're they're still a little bit pliable, pliant. What's the word I'm looking for? They're a little bit Gushy. So uh, those will get done hopefully tomorrow. But that's the last thing that I've had to do. I was able to get all the dry brushing and all the highlighting and stuff done up on these guys and put them on the bases. Oh, I also bought some Games Workshop razor wire. So I'll add some razor wire to these guys' bases, kind of make it look like a rubble strewn city street. And I, I think that'll look really cool. It, they're not going to stay this shiny tin foil silver color. I'm going to spray them with gray. But it just goes on a lot better than... I didn't have any cork available, and I, I wanted something that you could just slap on really quick and leave to dry. So, gotta say thank you to everybody who participated in this challenge. What a fantastic challenge and turnout it was this year more than last year, more than any of the little projects that I've ever done. There have been so many people that joined up in this painting challenge. And I gotta say thank you to everybody who participated. Thank you to everybody who didn't participate but just uh, commented. Thank you to everybody who followed along on the Daka Daka plug plog. And thank you just for everybody who, who's just been supportive. And those of you out there who have them, please thank your friends and family and significant others for putting up with you this month. And the one film, one video a day nonsense that I requested. The challenge is and has always been about seeing what you could get done. If you didn't get anything done, like I said at the beginning of the month, but just posting up videos of your cats and saying, oh, I didn't get anything done today, I was really busy, then at least a video a day answering the daily questions, kind of showing us a glimpse into your life has been kind of what it's all about. So there are so many shout outs that I could do about. All of you who have finished the challenge, all of you who've completed all your tertiary objectives, all of you who have done a video a day, and I I want to make a whole separate video just for that, but I do have to say thank you to Christopher from AG Productions for giving me the idea of doing this challenge in the first place. His project, Wood Elves, is kind of what inspired me. So I, I don't think he watches my videos because I don't think I've ever gotten a comment from him, but got to say thank you to him. Check him out if you haven't seen any of his videos yet. AG Productions, I think, is the channel name. And thank you to all of you for continually or continuing to post videos up and upload them to your channels. I know you've gotten to be so focused on your own videos that you've stopped. A, a lot of you out there have stopped posting them as video responses to, to my daily videos. And I think that's great because that means that you're, you know, you're doing the daily videos, you're doing them and you are kind of on a roll. I do ask though that if you do have videos and you are doing them daily 
then I think Stephen Holmes has just started sending me video responses. So if you've got any video responses that or videos that you have not made as responses, please send them to me. I'd love to include them on my channel. There we go. I got a little bit better light on these guys. And I would yeah, I'd love to share with everybody else because what I'm hoping is that people will come to my channel to see what I'm doing and then every single day they will get video responses to you guys and head over to your channels and then subscribe. Hopefully all of you have who've participated in the challenge have gotten some new subscribers and some just positive motivation and inspiration for your own projects. That's kind of what it was all about besides just challenging yourself this month to be creative and to do a video a day and to get some work done that you haven't gotten to yet. The, the challenge was also to uh, build the community. So I hope that you guys were able to, hey Commissar Bane, I hope you guys were able to get some enjoyment and some reward and satisfaction out of the project and going back to our daily daily routines of not having to worry about doing a video a day and making progress on the same thing. I, I hope you guys are are all have all gotten something of worth from this project. I'm already starting to really be happy with the idea of the daily questions. I hadn't done this before, but the daily questions I think was really cool to kind of get a, a an idea of what we're all individually, where we're all coming from, what our you know, what our environment is like, what, what we do outside of the hobby, just kind of, like I said, builds the community and makes us a little bit more in touch, gets us more in touch and familiar with each other. And I think that's great. So hopefully you guys have forged some new friendships and have um, formed some new bonds of comradeship with each other. I, I know I have. I've, I've met a lot of new people who haven't done any YouTube videos before and I've just watched it. So to you guys out there who haven't done any videos before this challenge, congratulations. Welcome to the world of videos on YouTube. I hope your channels grow to hundreds and hundreds and thousands of subscribers. And to all the rest of you who are veterans and have been doing this filming and uploading and the hobby thing, uh, congratulations and thank you for joining me on this crazy journey. So the daily question today is... I have some I have some help. Is that my cue? Yes. Where? Number thirty one, if you would please. Wrap up. Woohoo! How was it for you? It was hard. For you? Yeah, it was difficult. Oh, and for and for our loved ones. Mm. Would you change <laughs> anything if you had to do it over? Uh I would definitely not have chosen to do semi so many Vestroyans if I could do it over. Maybe I might do a a more mechanized army, which is... But everybody does... Uh, so many people do mechanized Imperial Guard. If I could do the whole running of the event over again, what I might do is f try to film... Try to film, like, a day ahead and then mm -hmm. post that up at midnight. So I would kind of force myself to be a day ahead of all of you guys. That way you don't have to worry about me trying to get my video in before midnight. <clears throat> um, also, it would help me get a head start on all the video responses. That's another thing I would do differently. Watch all video responses as they come in so they don't pile up. Yeah. And lessons learned. Lessons learned is that we have an awesome community out there of very helpful and inspiring and motivating people. Some of you who I've never seen videos from before are just an absolute pleasure to listen to. I love listening to all the guys out there who've been in the hobby that were doing rambles on background fiction, uh, War Tiger with your camera set up on the Lego pieces, and just, I mean, I could, I could name all of you, and I will, I'll make a dedicated video just for the people who've completed the challenge, but the lesson that I learned the most is that <laughs> this month-long painting challenge, uh, I, I, I will definitely prepare a little bit better for next year. Is that it? That was mm -hmm. it, right? That's it. Okay, so thanks, Lady Boss. <laughs> what do you think of the Vestorians? I think once I, once these things dry and we put them on, put some barbed wire and paint them up like streets, they should look pretty cool, right? Yes, I'm very proud of you. Yay! The lady boss is proud of me. She's giving me smoochies. Woohoo! <laughs>
So, uh, like I said, as I wrap up this video, if you did all your tertiary objectives, if you filmed a video a day, if you don't even have to have completed your challenge, even if you set out to do, you know, one squad of 10 guys and you were not able to get them done, if you did your tertiary objectives, if you did the uh, video a day thing, then private message me and let me know you, you completed them all. And what I will do is make a video uh, about anything you want, and then I will plug your channel, I'll tell them a little bit about you and what I know of you from YouTube, try to get some videos, uh, some, some traffic your way, and I will also include your name in the title and the link to your channel in the video description just to help you out. So if you want to see me do a ramble video, an unboxing, a ta painting tutorial, uh, anything you want, I just the only thing I don't do yet is battle reports because I don't know how to play. So. Um, send me a private message, let me know, and uh, there's so much great stuff coming up. Apocalyst is in the works, and that's about to get started, so I guess I should make a video for that. Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for participating. You guys are the best, we got the best community in the world, and I'm super excited and, and satisfied with all of the amazing work that all of you were able to do this month. So inspiring, so awesome. This is Warboss Tay. Signing out, July 2013 Painting Challenge is at a close.